Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida, home tankster's hot rods, muscle car, and collector car showroom. We own all the cars at our dealership. We are not a consignment dealer. So if you are uh, negotiating with us on a vehicle, you are negotiating directly with the seller. There are no third parties involved. If you are watching this video on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website. It's hangsters.com. It's where you can find all of our most current inventory. Once we sell a vehicle, it comes down off of our website, dropping into our sold category, letting you know it's no longer available. However, when we shoot our YouTube videos, we leave them up at all times. We, there could be videos on there from six years ago. Um, you'll never know if that vehicle is available without visiting our website. We are on Instagram as well. Uh, we will be posting automotive related material as well as upcoming vehicles to our uh, video and photo shoots that we put on our website. So if you're in the market for a car, uh, sign up or subscribe to our Instagram. You might be able to get a head start on a vehicle uh, before it even hits our website. We've sold many before they even make the site. Um, being in Florida, there's a lot of car enthusiasts around, especially classic cars. And obviously, since you can drive cars year round here, um, they are in good condition. We don't have to deal with the weather that you guys have to deal with up north, um, where they might have to sit in storage or be driven on uh, salty, snowy roads. Um, so we get approached a lot to buy vehicles. And uh, generally, we just buy muscle cars because that's the business we're in. Of course, we also go after Broncos and Blazers and um, you know, things that people are in the market for that are, that are popular that are selling. Um, this is a car we got approached about that we decided to go ahead and, um, you know, purchase just because of the uh, originality of the car and the condition of the car. So what we're looking at today is a 1978 Chevrolet Monte Carlo. This particular car happens to have a 305, uh, the original 305. Uh, this is an original 39,000 mile car. It is 39,000 miles documented on a title. Actually, the title's from 2004, and it says uh, 34,000 miles on it. So 5,000 miles have been put on the car since 2004. Um, power brakes, power steering, and this car does have AC. So let's close the hood and take a look at the car. Um, really nice condition um, on the vehicle. Uh, you can tell the, the hood fitment to the fenders is good. Uh, grill up front is in excellent condition. Um, the front bumper is in good shape. Well-preserved piece of history. Um, Monte Carlo designation on the front fender. Um, I don't know, uh, I don't have all the history on this car. I don't know if sections of this car have been repainted or if this is the original paint. Um, you can tell there is some, you know, faint cracks right here in the driver's side front fender. I would be, I would venture to guess that a lot of this paint is original. I don't think the car has ever been through a complete repaint. Um, but, you know, sections of the car could have been repainted, such as the hood, such as the roof, so on and so forth. Um, I don't have any documentation to tell you guys that whether it's a complete repaint or not. Um, looks to me like the window glass all the way around the car is not only in excellent shape, but is original to the vehicle. Um, again, you have some faint uh, scratches here on the uh, drip rail moldings going around the car. Uh, again, probably original. You have a driver's side uh, mirror, nothing on the passenger side. Uh, car's all metal. Um, I can definitely tell you that the car's all metal and uh, the door fitment to the front fender and to the rear quarters, absolutely fantastic. On these Monte Carlos, they have uh, large doors. These doors open and close with ease. Looking in the vehicle, you can see that you have a uh, bench seat, uh, blue vinyl interior, um, original interior, original carpet, original steering wheel, all original dash. We will take a closer look at the interior when we're in the car um, doing the video shoot on the test drive for you guys. But you can see that the uh, courtesy lights illuminate down in the floor there. And of course the uh, dome light illuminates in the uh, headliner. Back seat, looks like it hasn't even been sat in. Floor mats, underneath the floor mats, the uh, carpet's not uh, faded, discolored, torn up, real nice shape.
close the door and <clears throat> again, uh, doors open and close with these both sides. Um, check out the body lines on the car. Like I said, it's all original sheet metal from 1978. Uh, rear window glass is fantastic. Uh, same thing with the chrome molding going around the uh, rear window. Deck lid on the car, huge, right? Um, the gaps are good on both the driver's side and the passenger side, and the paint's good on the deck lid. Monte Carlo there on the uh, passenger side corner. Checking out the trunk. It's carpet. Uh, trunk's carpeted, so do have a spare there. I do not see a jack. I don't think there's a jack in there, not unless it's behind the spare tire and I can't see it, but uh, there is a spare in there and the trunk's real, real nice carpet, real clean in there. I don't know if too much has ever even been put in there, maybe with the exception of some groceries. You do have your hideaway uh, lock on the deck lid that does function. Um, tail lights, reverse lights are in good shape. Passenger side door fitment and uh, body fitment. Body lines are the same as the driver's side, all in real good condition. This is a, a nice car for a 1978. You can tell there's, there's, you know, this car was really well cared for. Opening the passenger side door. Again, the uh, door panels, armrests, carpeting on the door, um, vinyl on the uh, bench seat and the back seat, all in fantastic condition. This car's all there for sure. Check out the door fitment, the uh, passenger side rear quarter to the passenger side door, and then of course the front of the door to the front fender. All real good uh, door fitment there. You'll be able to see a close-up of all four wheels. Uh, wheels are in great shape. You do have radial tires all the way around, Kumos, all the way around on the car. Little nick there on the, uh, in the you know, little nick on the hood there. But overall, the paint on the car is uh, really nice. <clears throat> We're in the muscle car business, collector car business. This isn't necessarily a muscle car, but um, you know, if you're in the market for an unmolested, um, all original sheet metal, original miles on the title, 1978 Monte Carlo, you know, maybe your father had one, um, maybe you had one. Uh, maybe somebody, you know, it's, it's a keepsake. This car is going to be off, you know, a memory for you. Um, this car is going to be offered at a very low price point. Um, it's just a uh, nice, unmolested uh, classic, 1978 Monte Carlo. I told you it's all original sheet metal that includes the floor pans and the undercarriage. So let's uh, take it out on a lift, put it in the air, and I'll show you that right now. Underneath our 1978 Monte Carlo, you have a numbers matching 305. Cross members in good shape. You have disc brakes in the front. Tires have plenty of tread on them. Tranny pans, nice and dry. Uh, you have exhaust manifolds on both sides coming down to uh, one single pipe that's gonna lead all the way back and then you're going to have a muffler back there that we'll show you shortly. Original floor pans in the car. You're going to have drum brakes in the rear. Frame rails uh, look good on both sides. Again, this is an all original sheet metal car, 39,000 miles. You check up where the uh, rear end pumpkin would sit up there. It's all nice and solid up there. Muffler in good shape. Here's where we showed you in the showroom the spare tire sits. Check out the rear frame rails, both sides, passenger side, driver's side, solid on both sides. Looks good. You know, I just had a, uh, one of the inspectors that come to our showroom, one of the third party inspectors that you guys hire that come to our showroom, quite often, he, he works for a bigger company. Uh, he just had mentioned to me that he bought a new 1950 something or other that, you know, the lady's husband had restored. And um, 
you know, it was restored 2007, 2008, somewhere in that time frame. And it was restored to uh, concourse quality condition um, in terms of paint, uh, motor training, so on and so forth. What I'm getting at with this story is he told me, uh, he bought it about, he said six weeks ago. And it's in the shop right now. And it's because it's leaking oil and it's leaking tranny fluid. Well, the thing hasn't really been driven um, any extended period of time uh, since the restoration. So he's been driving it. He lives in Orlando and he's been driving it. And guess what? Uh, the seals and the gaskets and the O-rings, it's from sitting a while, it's developed some age and it's leaking. The reason I'm telling you this long drawn out story is because it's how all these classic cars are. It doesn't matter how nice they are or what they cost or how much money you put into them. You know, they're going to need a little TLC from time to time. Um, we stand underneath these cars, do these video presentations, and um, you know, we show you the, the. We try to do our due diligence, make sure all the tranny pan bolts are nice and tight, valve cover gasket bolts are nice and tight. You know, we don't cheap out on gaskets. Gaskets are cheap, right? Ten bucks, twenty bucks, thirty bucks, depending on you know what the car is, what the motor is. Um, but we do our best to go over the cars and uh, seal everything up nice and tight for you guys. But guess what? Um, especially for those of you up north. They're, you're going to have leaks from time to time. I mean, if you walk out in your garage and you got a 12-inch uh, diameter puddle of oil or antifreeze or tranny fluid, you know you got an issue. But if you have a couple drops here and there, that's normal for these uh, older vehicles. We encourage all of our buyers, you know, today we're doing a presentation on a 1978 Monte Carlo that's original motor, original trans, original 39,000 miles. You know, but most all of our cars are custom built. And by that, um, we mean that, you know, not a lot of them, you know, it might have started life as a 350, it might have a 454 in it right now. Or it might have started life as a 318 and it might have a 383 or a 440 in it. It might have started life as a uh, automatic car, now it's got a four speed on the floor. You know, there, there's a lot of custom built cars. So um, that is why we encourage you guys to come in uh, firsthand and uh, experience our showroom. We have a 25,000 square foot facility here in Daytona Beach air conditioned, all of our vehicles are inside. We don't leave anything outside overnight or during the day. Um, we'll take anything you want outside that you might be interested in. You can look at the paint in the sun, you can drive it, you can rifle through the interior, pop the hood, pop the trunk, look at the tires, wheels, whatever you wanna do. We'll put it on the rack for you, let you inspect it. My guys will go over it with you, show you anything you wanna see or any questions you have mechanically. They'll be more than happy to answer them. We'll take it out, we'll drive it, um, anything you want to do. That's what we're here for. That's what we enjoy doing. Um, so, you ask, can we buy the car sight unseen? Certainly. Um, we do a lot of that business. That's why we do these videos. It's not because I don't have anything better to do during the course of a day. Um, we do these videos to try to put you as up close and personal to the vehicle as we possibly can. Um, also, we take a ton of photos. We invest a lot of money in our photography um, and the quality of our equipment to give you guys the highest quality photos that we possibly can. Financing is available on these vehicles. The collector car lenders will do up to a 10-year loan um, with approved credit, a five-year minimum, 10-year maximum, and then 10% down to the purchase price and the remaining balance over the five to 10-year period, whatever you get approved for. So makes it uh, nice and affordable to drive one of these classics, and these things don't depreciate. They're holding steady or even increasing in value. So it's nice if you're uh, you know, not looking at it as a long-term uh, piece to your uh, automotive collection. You just maybe want to drive it a year or two, three, have a little fun with it. You can finance it and do so and turn around and sell it and not take a huge loss to your uh, checkbook, savings account, or 401k, or wherever you might be stashing your money. Let's put it down on the ground, take it out, and drive it, see how it runs out. Okay, inside of our 1978 Monte Carlo, we have a horn. We have wipers. Low, high, off. The mileage is actual, like I told you in the showroom. Um, the turn signals function on the outside of the car, but the indicators on the ins inside do not function. But they work on the outside. Um, fuel gauge is not functioning. Um, we put it had about a, well, I don't know how much it had in it, but we put $20 in it and it's just pegged. So um, it's either going to be a fuel sending unit or in the gauge itself. So depending on what it is, it will have a functioning fuel gauge of some sort when it leaves here. 
nine times out of ten the fuel sending unit goes bad and then you just have to recalibrate it fuel sending unit got dropped the tank it's about a fifty dollar part put a new fuel sending unit in recalibrate it with the center ohm it out or the uh, sender and the gauge ohm it out you're good to go but um we'll figure that out if we can't get that to work we'll mount one down here so you know how much fuel you have um clock does not function uh your temp engine and uh battery are all just idiot lights so um those will light red if you have a problem and they do function when you start the car all the cycle um it does have ac and it does function um so what we do on any vehicle with an ac system this ac was not blowing cold when it got here it is blowing cold now so we you know put dye in it and assess it for leaks before it leaves whether it's you know a week two weeks you know a month two months what however long we have the car we'll charge it when it gets here you know make sure that the uh system's blowing cold and then reassess it on the outgoing inspection as well but why don't you just go straight to the top you do have an am radio that functions bypass so if you can manage to find anything to listen to on am radio it works dash pad in the front all in good condition you can tell how well cared for the car has been over the, uh, its lifespan. Headliner's in good shape. You got both sun visors. Rear view mirror's nice and clear. Really nice car on the inside and the outside. And it runs the same. I've driven it. So let's take it out see how it runs. The car rides absolutely like a brand new car. Um, steering is nice and tight. Immediate response in the wheel. Um, there's zero vibrations to speak of at all in the tires and the wheels and the, um, you know, seat, floor, steering wheel, nothing. You let go of the wheel, the car straight as an arrow down the road. No issues there whatsoever. Um, speedometer on the money. 40 miles per hour. It's not bouncing around. I told you earlier the mileage in the, uh, Speedometer there, the odometer is uh, current. Um, you know, it's actual miles recorded on the title. You see there's no shake to the steering wheel at all when you're driving down the road. Really nice car. I would uh, show you the brakes, but I have somebody behind me, so I can't do that right at the moment. But. Uh, we're coming up to a traffic light here. We'll see if the uh, if the brakes stop us. Oh, looks like possible accident up here. We will turn here and uh, continue on our drive. Okay, well that was a good one. Business for some local body shops around here. Car is a 305, has good acceleration. I'm coming up on a car, but you know, this is a 45 mile per hour lane we're in right now. Um, we're doing 50. As you can see, car runs out, shifts through the gears, fantastic. Motor has good pickup, nice and quiet. Real uh, nice idle, idles without issue. Again, we're doing 50 miles per hour, no hands on the wheel. Car's tracking straight. Brakes have good, as uh, soon as you touch the brakes, they're, they're braking. They're not locking up. Really nice, well-preserved 1978 Chevy Monte Carlo. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone number here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website. Today we're going to put all the photos up of this vehicle. And we'll also post on our website this video presentation we're doing for you right now. At full retail price, most of our vehicles normally include shipping. And they include a 12-month, 12 12,000-mile 12 powertrain warranty. 
This vehicle will include shipping in the lower 48 United States at full retail price. However, um, there is not a warranty offered on this car at full retail price simply because at the price it's going to be offered at, there's no room for a warranty. Um, you know, we usually build in the warranty cost to the price of the vehicles, but we, we, we just bought the car because it's a nice, well-preserved car. We didn't buy it to try to make a million dollars off the thing. It's just we're going to make a couple bucks and move on to the next one. So um, there will be no warranty offered with this car. But original motor, original transmission, original 39,000-mile car. It's a 305. If you, you know, it's a classic car. If you got to put some money into it, it's not going to be expensive. You know, your standard run-of-the-mill type stuff. Um, valve cover gaskets, oil pan gasket, tranny pan gasket, maybe brakes, whatever. But uh, we've gone through the car and the car's in tip top shape as of right now. So um, there you have it. Again, we are Hangsters Hot Rods. Our website is hangsters.com and we are located in Daytona Beach, Florida. We would love to earn your business, add you to our growing base of customers throughout the United States and throughout the world. Check us out.